So, I'm back again with another Doom Eternal update video. This one is kind of major, but kind of not at the same time. What I mean is, we're finding out a bit more about the schedule behind Doom Eternal's announcement and other things at QuakeCon. We find out a bit more what the time will be, although it's very kind of brief. They don't they haven't exactly 100% confirmed anything except for the start in time of that day. Anyway, it's kind of cool information. I was just going through the Doom Twitter. I'll check it just to see if they announce anything. And I saw this retweeted tweet by Bethesda. So this is, yeah, this pretty much just shows you that they've updated it a little bit to see what's going on. And as it says there, the highly anticipated gameplay reveal of Doom Eternal. So yeah, they updated it a little bit just to show us what time it really starts. More or less the day. Once again, I was hoping they'd say what time Doom Eternal live stream actually would be. But they don't. Anyway, this is what they says here. So, Friday, August the 10th at 11 a.m. CT is what it says. So, this is kind of good news for me because it works out not too late for the UK time. Depending on what time they show Doom Eternal. Because if you remember in the previous video, I said I have no idea if they're going to show it. Like they do at Bethesda at E3. Is it like half two in the morning here in the UK, which sucks. So, I was getting worried. But 11 a.m. CT and I'm... I think I checked out, it works out to be 4 o'clock around about this time. Not sure how accurate that is. Just doing my own little research. So 4 o'clock, that's not bad. I, I did read there's supposed to be a 5 hour difference. So 4 o'clock is 5 hours, so that makes sense. Okay, Doom Eternal, I'm 99% sure is going to be the big major thing at the end of the show. So this is going to be after they've showed off Quake, Champions, Rage 2 and the Elder Scrolls Online. Then are all the other things that are going to be shown off on that night. So that's at least an hour each. So I'd say 12, 1, 2. Doom Eternal, I'm pretty sure it's going to be shown about 3 or 4. Something later on in the day. Maybe 5 or 6. In, of course, American time. So 5 or 6 would be quite later in the UK. 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock you're looking at there. So I still might be able to see it. I'm hoping they're going to show it a bit sooner. I said I don't really know. They left it kind of brief for a reason, I guess. So, 11 a.m. CT is a good time. At least it means it won't be ridiculous out of time, like 3 o'clock in the morning, like it was for E3. I'm really hoping I'm going to want to see it, because I, I can't wait to see what Doom Eternal is going to offer for us. They're really hyping it up, so I'm really hoping they're going to deliver. The, if you can just see right here, it says the bone-shaking gameplay reveal. They really are hyping this game up. Since pretty much its announcement, everything's just been promising of so much. And they don't usually do this. So I I'm, I'm really am hoping that they've got something incredibly special for us planned. So do you find this information useful? Do you think... I, don't, I think it's kind of brief. I said it's kind of helpful to me and people, other people live in the UK. There is an early-ish time. So hopefully Doom Eternal, which I still think is going to be the finale of the night, is shown off at a reasonable time for the UK as well, not 1, 2 in the morning. I think up to 12 I'm happy, I don't I don't like staying up to the next day, especially if it's like a working day, even though it's a Saturday, I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not, so anyway, this has been Rock Gamer 45 and don't forget to tell me what you think down below, and goodbye.